Alright guys, welcome to your second tutorial in Construct 2. And now that you got all those images downloaded and pretty much you know the software is installed and ready to go, then we can go ahead and double click this little icon to uh, boot up the software. And of course the first thing that you see is this little splash screen at the beginning. And like I said before, just click a new project and create empty new project or new empty project, tomato tomato. So right now, we are a little overwhelmed at first with all the crap on the screen, as pretty much you are with any software when you open it for the first time. But as you guys are going to see, once I start teaching you, this interface is going to become really familiar and simple and comfortable. And also, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you guys the real basics of how to make a game step by step. And I'm going to be introducing all these settings as we need them. I'm not just going to take a video and be like, okay, this is the tools panel and layers and menus and talk about everything. Because then you're going to be like, okay, well, it's nice, but what the heck do I do with it? So let's just go ahead and get started creating a game. And I think you guys will understand a little bit easier that way. So, okay, right now our game is just a white blob on a screen. And if you ever want to test it out, just go ahead and click this button run layout okay so pretty boring game so far the first thing that I want to do is add some kind of background some texture so what we can do is we if we actually uh, click right click this in fact we're gonna see a menu that appears and this is called the layout this big white part right here this is basically where your main game is and the gray spot is the off-screen spot. It just gives you a little buffer space so, you know, your entire game, you have a uh, little room to work with. But anyways, somewhere in your layout, right-click and then press Insert New Object. Now, what we want to do now is we want to insert a tiled background. So scroll down and under the general, you're going to see Tiled Background. Now whenever you select this, what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to select the image and it's not just going to stretch it over your entire thing, it's going to tile that image so you don't lose any um, quality whenever you're playing your game. But anyways, right after you select that, you're going to see that your cursor now turns in a little cross here. So just go ahead and click it anywhere because we're going to be uh, changing the position later on. But now, once you clicked it, you can see that you get this thing right here. And this is pretty much called your texture editor window. So right now, we just told the game, okay, we want a tiled background. The next thing we have to tell it is, well, what picture do you want to use for the tiled background? So in the texture editor window, go ahead and click this folder right here. And actually, I don't know if you guys saw, but when you hover over it, it says load an image from your computer. And of course of all the images we downloaded. Let's go ahead and use the background for the background. So we selected and pretty much told Construct2, to, okay, we want to use this image. And actually, if we just close out of this right now, we don't have to press save or anything. It just automatically loads that image. So now another thing you want to do is make sure that you have the image selected because once it's selected, we can change all of the properties in it including position. If it's not selected, for example, just click on that white right here and it's going to see that uh, you deselected it. You're going to see that all the properties are changed to the layout. When you select it again, the properties change. So just remember that. Whenever you're working with a bunch of objects, the one that you have selected are the properties that are going to appear right here. And this thing on the left hand side is called the properties panel. Simple enough. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to set the position of this and we can do it manually by you know just trying to get it in that corner right there but there's an easier way. Once it's selected go to this little position property and change it to 0 comma space 0. Now these are the X and Y coordinates and whenever you hit enter it's going to set the X and Y to 0 0 pretty much means put this in the very top left of our game. So the next thing that we want to do since it's in the top left is we want to set the size of it. Now a good thing that we can do is we can see that how big should this be? Well I'm not sure. Probably the size of the layout which is the game itself. But we don't know how big the layout is itself so how do we know how big to make the texture or the background? 
Well, a cool way that you can get the, and actually it's not that cool, but it's a really easy way that you can get the size of your layout is just to left click somewhere on your layout and the layout size is right here. So mine is 1708 by 960. Now if you copy this, then what you can do is whenever you click on texture and get the texture properties, you can change the size from 512 to 512, paste that out, paste that in right there and press enter. Now the size of this is 1708 by 960. And also take note of the fact that it didn't just stretch it out like you would in Photoshop or something. It tiled it to match that size. So now if you scroll down, you can see that your background now matches the size of your layout. Now another cool thing that I want to teach you guys is how to move around your, uh, your game. So if you hold control on your keyboard and scroll out with your mouse wheel, that's going to scroll out. So instead of just, you know, scrolling up and down like that, it's a little bit easier. And also, if you hold the middle mouse button down and drag, you can pan around. So again, that's easier for me. That's what I do all the time instead of, you know, using these scroll bars, you know. I don't got time to use scroll bars. And also, if you want to reset back to the zoom level of 100, hold down control on your keyboard and press 0. So if you ever, you know, accidentally scroll out too far, or scroll in too far, again, that's control and zero, and it's going to take you back to basic. So now pan to pretty much where you started, the top left corner. And once you have that texture background on, what I want to do now is I want to show you guys how to create another layer so we can organize our game a little bit better. So we got the background down. It's good to go. Now let's do something a little bit cooler. So that's what we're going to be doing in the next video, and I'll see you then.